Street art is popping up everywhere with more and more people using the city as their canvas. And today we are meeting up with one street art legend who only goes by one name. You've been doing street art since you're 12 years old. Back then I was uh, painting trains and subway cars and everything I could put my hands on I was painting. We didn't have that respect back then like we do today. I couldn't paint on anything. Now I have building owners and now I'm starting to travel around the world painting. It's just a blessing. So heck tad, that has a meaning. H-E-K is my tag. T-A-D is a crew that I used to have back in the 80s. My art hasn't always been loved. It's just the world is changing and uh, I see a lot of poverty, a lot of homeless people, a lot of things going on around me. And six years ago, I just started doing the love thingy because uh, the whole situation that's been going on. But I've been painting hearts and love since 96. You were a mechanic before you were getting paid as a street artist. Yeah. How did you make that leap? When Bansky came here to New York City and was making everybody go crazy, I'm like, this guy Bansky in New York? Yeah, what the hell's going on? And then that's when I did my homework and I said, you know what, I gotta come back out. I'm just as good as this guy. I gave it a try, had my first show, sold out, made a lot of money, quit my job, and this is it. I'm doing street art, no more breaks, this is it. Till I die, I'm not stopping. And so this is just one of many of your pieces around the neighborhood. So will you give us a tour? Yeah. This piece is called Mi Amor. Mi Amore. Yes. Wow, it's Means beautiful. my love. I've been wanting to paint this gate on Bowery, this specific gate, for like two years now. I just go with the flow of the paint. Uh, I, I just pick colors that are bright and very eye-catching. I love painting things that make other people happy. I don't paint for myself. I paint for the people in the street. People that are feeling bad, people that are feeling down, sad, upset, having a bad day. They go by my work, they see it, and, and they just feel different. Now, this is a piece that I've seen a whole lot on Instagram. What is this one called? This piece is called Pietro Love. Ah, for the restaurant. So you said that you would show us your secrets. Yeah. You have the paint. You have the tools. Yes. Now let's get to work. OK. So you just take a marker, and you just kind of go with it. It doesn't have to be clean. You can just, you know, play with it. This was such a great day. Now, where can people find you on Instagram? Hectad Official. Awesome. Thank you so much.